canceled a trip to Georgia this morning after the suicide bomb assassination of that country's president by separatist rebels from the Abkhazia region. Continued fighting in the Abkhazia and South Ossetia regions has hindered Georgia's hopes of integration into Western institutions. Industry baron Kambain Nikolad seized power today in a bloodless coup, installing himself in the presidential palace behind a wall of political and military support. The charismatic billionaire plans on holding elections within a matter of days to affirm his seat of power and promises a pristine and profitable relationship with America and the West. Bringing high-speed fiber optic connectivity to areas of Eastern Europe that less than a decade past didn't have telephones. The technological leap is due largely to the efforts of rising information industries in the Netherlands, and especially Georgia, where President... The Vice President called his visit to Georgia an honor and called Georgian President Kumbain Nikolads a man with his eyes on the future. Sam Fisher. I can't believe you beat me here. I like to be early. Hello, Colonel. You can use my name. The room's safe. Lambert. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine and we'll be online through your earpiece and OPSAT. And that's how we're handling training? Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been taking care of yourself. I haven't been in the field in years. Sure. But tradecraft is something you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Or wearing high heels. <laughs> be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. You know how nervous the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. The role aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend largely on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the court. That's gotta be him. Yep. Sam Fisher, let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. This is going to sting. Go ahead. Hold that. Christ, this is spooky. What's that? Grim sticking wires in your head, man. I just need to sync the encryption signature between his subdermals and Fort Meade. Don't like that. I know. It's for after we land. You better hurry up, Grim. We touched down in Georgia in 15. I'm already done. Lambert? Hey, Irving, do you read me? Tell her I read her. He reads you. Good. You ready to get to work? I'd feel better if I knew what was going on. You know what you need to. The CIA lost a mole inside Georgian President Combein Nikoladze's cabinet. Her name is Alice Madison. They sent in Agent William Robert Blaustein to find her and lost him too. Are we working with the CIA's cooperation? Blaustein is outfitted with subdermals just like yours. That'll be your best lead to find him. You didn't answer my question. We'll tell you what you need to know. You're not out there alone, Fisher. Through me, you're attached to a dozen of the best NSA minds we have. There are political complexities with Georgia you'd need a week to understand. I've just about memorized the speech language. Well, start believing it. This is Third Echelon's maiden voyage, and we need it to go smooth as butter. You're about to touch down in Georgia. Get ready.
spark a steady rise in Georgia's economy. Once central to the former Soviet Union's development and manufacture of weapons, Georgia has recently resurfaced as a potential player in the world military industry, with active contracts in Russia, Turkey, Germany, and even has stated the need, especially in these times, for a reliable source of oil in the Middle East. Commerce Secretary Moore, on a visit to Azerbaijan this morning, noted the tiny nation's enormous potential for oil, calling on American investors to provide the necessary funds for tapping the reserves. In many ways, a leader from a bygone era. His beliefs are very firmly founded in Georgian orthodoxy. His political standings more in line with the early 20th century. Would you fault him then as a politician? No, no, not at all. Kumbe Nikolaitz is all politician. He's done wonders for the Georgian economy. A brilliant tactician. It's more a question of ethics. And ethically speaking? Well... Georgian special forces have taken hold of villages scattered throughout Azerbaijan. Incredibly, Kambayn Nugalads appears to have been able to move thousands of troops across the border over a course of weeks, completely hidden from both local and international authorities through a high-tech... Number of Azerbaijani casualties are unknown, but early estimates number in the high... The freedom-loving people of the world cannot stand idly by and allow an act of such staggering inhumanity and scale. In their third day of fighting, U.S.-led NATO troops took three more Azerbaijani villages occupied by Georgian special forces. U.S. troops met only light resistance and suffered minimal casualties. The Georgian commando cells are becoming increasingly hard to locate as military intelligence suffers repeated... Kumbayn Nikolads has vanished, along with his top military advisors. Speculation points to Nikolaz's fear of a war crimes tribunal as motivation. A two-minute webcast from locations unknown, Georgian President Kumbayn Nikolaz called America and its allies an army of scarecrows, declaring them helpless to defend themselves or their homeland. The precise nature of Nikolaz's threat, experts fear, could make itself known within... How much longer is this gonna take? Your daughter's on the line. Just running the encryption. Black hell! What's up, Gerb? The data you glommed off the rig. There's no way the Georgians could have gotten this much intel without a man inside the CIA. Fisher, you're up. Dad? Sarah. Hi. Where are you? On my way home. I thought you were gonna call last week. Something came up. I'm sorry. That's all right. Were you in Georgia? Honey, you know I can't. That. Yeah, I know. I was just watching it on TV. Ah! Sarah. Sarah! Grimstar. Wilkes. You okay? I think so. Anybody have a line back to third echelon? I'm here, Fisher. What the hell's going on? Nikolaz just declared war on the U.S. What? The Georgians hit our communications, transportation, power grids. We still don't know how extensive the damage is. What's our defense? What are we doing? What do we have? Nikolaz caught us with our pants down. All we've got is the laptop you pulled off the oil rig. My daughter. I know, I know. I I've got people heading over there. This whole country's a mess. I need to see Sarah. You know what you need to do. We're helpless until we find Nikolaz. You're heading for the CIA. Your mission just became critical. Failure at the Red Bear Army Community Hospital in Mississippi resulted in 17 deaths and over 30 injuries. Both county electricity and backup generators were destroyed, leaving military train traveling to Norfolk, Virginia, collided with a commuter rail line after an apparent failure of its automated routing system. U.S. military has not released the contents of the train's cargo, though federal authorities have evacuated a 20-mile radius surrounding the wreckage. Though no official death toll has been given, initial reports indicate the deaths of over 40 enlisted men. Potential civilian casualties are believed to be much lower. 
newspapers talking about cyber terrorism, an information crisis, information warfare. Call it what you will, but realize that no American is safe until we mobilize our army. Rescue workers, their information grid entirely disabled, were unable to respond to the crash for nearly an hour. Injuries became fatalities as... To combine the collades, the Georgian president still in hiding. Though his first wave of cyber terrorism focused on military targets, intelligence proposes that a large-scale civilian target could just as easily... We have faced terror before and triumphed. I promise here to the American people that we will triumph again. Earth is too small a place for the perpetrators of these acts to hide. The United States and her allies will enact a justice that is swift, cruel, and absolute. Appeared on the internet at 3 o'clock this morning. My declaration of war against the United States of America and its allies. Until every last foreign soldier has left Georgia, this war will continue on American soil and around the world, claiming the lives of the aggressors. The scales of power have been newly balanced, and we will no longer accept the tyranny of the United States. Blame the U.S. media for their part in spreading Kambayn Nikoladze's message. Ironic counterpoint to the situation at home, U.S. soldiers in Georgia and Azerbaijan have spent their fifth night without combat. Though tensions remain high, military intelligence has been unable to locate any remaining Georgian commando. Have dramatically increased their efforts to find Kambayn Nikoladze. U.S. intelligence is combing a constantly expanding search radius extending from Georgia. Each new country another possible secret alliance with the... Because what we have here is a situation where further airstrikes just won't do any good. Nikolat's army, if that's what you want to call it, is a bunch of... As morning relatives prepare funeral services, America's law enforcement and military forces prepare for the unknown waiting for Combain Nikoladze's next move. Are you all right? Is that a joke? I'm sorry. Turn. You're headed for Myanmar. The mission's not over. What about Wilkes? We're scrambling for a replacement. We might have a runner in Japan we could borrow, a woman named Cohen. What's in Myanmar? Nicolads. We used the Kalinatech data to pinpoint him at the Chinese embassy in Rangoon. Chinese support for the Georgians? The political situation isn't good. If they are backing Nicolads, you better find rock-solid proof. I don't want to go into World War III without a good reason. You've got some time before you reach Rangoon. You want me to patch a secure phone line so you can talk to Sarah? No. Disaster was narrowly averted at the Pickett Gap Water Treatment Plant in Tennessee. Plant management attribute the malfunction to a remote viral attack, possibly the latest act of terror in the Georgian information crisis. Still have no leads in the search for Combain Nicolades. 
NATO and charity groups working in Azerbaijan continue to uncover the corpses left from what was only the beginning of the Georgian president's campaign of high-tech terror. If not for the swift intervention of plant employees, hundreds or even thousands could have become life-threateningly ill from contaminated water. They say we're safe and all right, but then they tell us to boil our water. Seeing the disaster averted at Pickett Gap, a possible turning point in the Georgian information crisis, marking the first time American authorities were able to recognize and overcome one of Nikoladze's acts of terror. Described early diplomatic negotiations with China a mixture of silence and antagonism. The Chinese claim that the U.S. are using suspicions of Georgian support as an unfounded excuse to inspect Chinese weapon stores and have so far refused cooperation. If possible, lending an even greater urgency to the search for Combein Nicolades. Though the evidence itself has not been revealed, U.S. intelligence is claiming to have proof of China manufacturing nuclear weapons, a blatant infraction of international treaties. China has made an unmitigated denial of the charges, restating the belief that diplomatic talks with China continue to crumble. U.S. military forces are mobilizing towards the anticipation of possible hostilities. China again denies any involvement in Combein Nikoladze's Oh my God. Broadcast through the internet just minutes ago. Cannot allow my nation to be subjected to the blatant international despotism of the United States or the cronyism of its allies. The world is not yours alone. And the soldiers you send into it are all equally guilty of American fascism. At 5.30 p.m. Greenwich Standard Time, the United States soldiers captured in a just war against their motherland will be executed. Their deaths broadcast for the world to watch. What the hell just happened? The broadcast antenna's down. We've got no outgoing signal. We're under attack. The Americans are here. They've taken out the broadcast antenna. Get Nikolaj out of here. I want his helicopter airborne now. I want a squad of technicians with an armed escort on the roof and repairing that antenna. I want the Americans found and killed. Yes, sir. Since the unexplained interruption of the webcast executions, no information of the captured American soldiers has surfaced. Has instated a complete media blackout regarding diplomatic negotiations between the U.S. and China. Authorities warn of the very real possibility of Georgian mercenaries releasing falsified news reports. The possibility that China was in any way involved in the still unconfirmed execution of American soldiers in the hope that the crisis can be averted before leading to world war. I'm going to shoot myself. Not in the face. <laughs> you are American. You are the cause of all my sorrows, yes? Perhaps you will do me the favor of killing Fisher, it's time we talked about the Ark. What is it? What Nikolads wants most in the world and what we're going to catch him by. That's all we know. We know the Ark is hidden somewhere inside the Georgian presidential palace. And we know Varlam Kristavi is letting him take it. Who's Kristavi? The new president of Georgia, pushed into power by our friends at the CIA. It doesn't make sense. We'll do the thinking. Your primary mission in Georgia will be Nikolads. We get him and the game's over. The good guys win. Were you talking to Lambert? Yeah. How soon before we touch down in Georgia? We don't. You'll be making a halo jump. Goody. Dad, is that you? Sarah, it's good to hear your voice. Are you coming home? The TV said you guys beat Nikolads. It's not that simple. So you're not coming home? No, honey, not yet. But soon. A 
collective sigh of relief as the U.S. returned to a state of amicable diplomacy with China. The swift action of the CIA and Chinese intelligence revealed a splinter faction of the Chinese military covertly supporting the Georgian information crisis, declaring a national day of mourning for those lost in the Georgian information crisis. Confirms the consummate defeat of Kambayn Nikolaidze's cyber warriors. The acts of information terrorism have come to an end. And in a ceremony later today, President Bowers will be issuing an official thanks to the CIA, FBI, and U.S. Special Forces for their role in bringing an end to the crisis. Though his whereabouts are still unknown, Combain Nicolades is essentially powerless. We have torn off the scorpion's claws. We have severed his tail. And he cannot stay hidden for long. An eight-story apartment building and surrounding four blocks in Hopegate, Maryland, were evacuated today by the National Guard. Authorities cited a gas leak as the reason for the evacuation, stressing that today's events had no relation whatsoever to Combain Nicolaitz or the Georgian information crisis. Hopegate, less than half an hour from downtown Washington, D.C., will... Since the recovery and confirmed identity of President Combain Nicolaitz's corpse five days ago, Palace guards fatally shot President Nicolaides in the midst of what appears to have been an attempted ousting of acting President Varlam Kristavi. In a press conference this morning, U.S. President Bowers lauded the American people for their courage. We were injured, we stumbled, but we did not fall. The world knows no hardship or terror that American tenacity cannot overcome. The world knows no problem that American ingenuity cannot solve. And so Dad, I extend my so deepest funny. admiration to every U.S. citizen of the world, to every civilian and every soldier standing firm against the terror and tyrannies of wicked men. History will not forget your resolve. <laughs> History will not forget your resolve. Dad, what's going on? You haven't laughed since the Reagan administration. <laughs> it's nothing. Forget about it. We have kept the bright flame the of American line, freedom burning me. throughout oh. the world. May God clear our vision and strengthen our minds for the work to come. And may God bless America. You're not leaving again, are you, Dad? Hello, Lambert. <laughs>